Okay, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. Steve here with my lovely wife, Kim. Hi, everybody. We're back due to, I think Kim wanted to play this one. Yes, I did. But we did have some requests. And so, uh, you know what? Let's get back to it. We love this game, Geek Commandos, so mm -hmm. we're going to play it. However, we're going to do something a little bit different. Why are you giving me that look? I'm not completely happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to play an operation, but I want to use the the uh, rules for the Ghost expansion that was recently on Kickstarter to see if we can use the same rule set for character scaling for something other than solo. So in the Kickstarter Ghost, you can play solo with any level, any operation you want. Now, how it works is you get level up cards, you get equipment tokens, you get other stuff to help offset that. So what I did is I looked at the operation we're playing, I figured out what the difference of that is, and I took those same um, benefits and applied it to us. So this should offset the, the fact desire. that we're playing a man down? Yeah, exactly. I don't believe you, but if it works, great. It will prove, it's a proof of concept that you are trying. Well, we did play this way earlier. I just didn't mention it. Yeah, he didn't. He lied to me. <laughs> Lying so, by omission. Lying by omission, right. <laughs> what we were doing. So anyway... Let's dive into what that means and what we're playing. So we're let's start off with the operation first. And if you happen to catch this video live, if you have questions how to play, let us know. I'm not going to get into the details of how to play it. I'm just going to talk about the setup. But we can definitely explain it if you want. So we're going to be playing an operation, Operation Great Sword. So you can play this game two ways, a level, one off, and an operation, which is a series of them. So we're playing a series of them. It's just two of them in this case. So, the naval blockade imposed by the Allies on the German fleet is not tight enough. The fast cargo ships manage to sneak through and reach the port of Bordeaux, in the French occupied zone. One of the most important enemy warships uses this base to maneuver in the Atlantic. Your mission is to sink it while at dock. You must also destroy the anti aircraft battery nearby so we can bomb the area after the operation. That's our goal. So this is made up of two levels. We have to do the battleship level, and then we go to the central courtyard. Battleship is where we're going to try to blow up that ship, and the courtyard is the anti-tank gun. <clears throat> okay, and then here's the setup for it. So this is one thing I'll point out. I was down here in the corner. It says it's for three commandos. We're only playing two. Yeah. So we're offset by one. So this is what I'm talking about by that. So, Though I do, we are playing with three characters. Oh, I got a no, surprise tonight. No, it's yes. not. It's not a full character. No, it's not full character. Okay, so um, we'll be playing that, and I'll get to the rules in a second, but let's look at the characters. I'm going to play something different. I'm going to be playing as the Mortar Gunner. So, very different style for me, because he's all about big explosions. So, he can fire this mortar shot down here in the corner. So, you see how it's got a rectangle around. It's got some special rules. Basically, it means is if I'm out, outdoors, I can use it and hit any outdoor tile. Um, it cannot shoot tiles that are next to me. It has to be further than one space away from me. Okay. I can use any tile I want and then um, roll my dice like normal. So foreshadowing. You're going to be hanging in the back. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to get shrapnel from you. Yes. Okay. Pretty much. However, I'm not alone. This is one of the Kickstarter exclusives that you could got is Gander. I have my pet dog. He better not die. I hope if he doesn't. If this dog dies, <laughs> I'm going to be so sad. Speaking of which, if he takes a single wound, he's eliminated. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> so how, how he works is uh, he, can carry, he can actually carry equipment. He can't use it, but he can carry it. And this is everything he can do on the card. So he can follow someone. So if you happen to walk around, he'll just follow you along. He'll be all happy. <laughs> so, he's traumatized. <laughs> no, he's trained. He's, he's trained. trained. He does have a med pack with him, so we'll get a med pack for him. If you don't mind grabbing one of those out of the bag. That out there. <clears throat> and then... Um, he does have a German uniform, so he can kind of disguise himself. And then he has his only attack is close combat. So if he's stealth, he can bite and take out a guy that way. And so how he does is he can uh, enter through trap doors, collect a drop equipment. He can move two tiles with one action. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing he can do is once per turn for an action, he can bark. Which means he can put a spotted token from Discord Pile on a tile. And then that is treated as a visible commando. Basically, what's going to happen is they're going to convene, converge on that spot. So my thought is, I'll control Gander with this mortar gunner. I'll have them con converge on that spot and then mortar that spot. That's, okay. That's my thought. Hopefully keep Gander alive. 
We'll see. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm playing as kind of two characters. A gander doesn't count as an actual commando. He's just someone additional you can bring on any mission. You can also can't control gander by himself. Tim's playing with a scout, which we desperately need because if I'm not very mobile, we need someone mobile. So Kim's all about um, uh, moving stealthily into big and small tiles. And you've got a nice Thompson machine gun. Yes. Is this side you want or you want the other side? Um, yes, you can do the same thing, but you can go through walls on the other side, which is kind of cool. So. No, I'd rather... The gun's rather have loud. The gun? I'd rather have the bigger gun. Okay. You want the bigger gun. Okay. And just to point out, yeah, there's double sides to all these characters. Okay. So that is the characters we're playing. Let's look at the battleship we're going against. So here is the board. And I have some behind this. Blow them out of the water. So our objective is sink the ship by blowing up the explosion spots on each side of its hull. So if you notice that we have one here and one here. And this empty spot is the battleship. And if you look at the card, you can see how it's kind of like X'd out, X'd X'd out in there. Yeah. We should put a ship there. We should. Now, the cool thing about the Kickstarter, if you happen to back backed it, you do have all these tiles you can add, add there. In fact, I may have it actually. I, Too late now, Stephen. <laughs> I, I may step away try to grab it quick because I think they might have sent it uh, with the, uh, the, the demo copy. But anyway, so that's pretty cool. So that's what we need to do. However,. I like playing with the, you have to look at the operation card because this is how you play a single level, but the operation has additional rules to it. So this one is, a few minutes after reaching the harbor, one of the commandos loses an ammo clip and the Germans found it. Meaning, the alarm is triggered at the end of the second turn. They don't see us, but the alarm is tri triggered because they're nowhere in the area. We left evidence. We left evidence. So that's why I decided to go with someone louder. It's going to be kind of, kind of fun. Something different. It doesn't matter. You're going to be loud anyway. <laughs> They're going to know we're here. Yeah, probably. Right away. Okay. Steve has arrived. Kaboom. <laughs> Kajoom. Kajoom. <laughs> okay. So that is what we're doing tonight. Hope it'll be fun. Let's see. Okay. I think we got the board set up. We have those objectives out there. I do have just two cards here. Oh, we, we need gotta to. We got to do your bonus because we're bonus. playing a man down. We you are. have to do the solo add. So we're adding two luck tokens. Don't know where they are. Into the uh, enemy spawn bag. So we'll put those in there. That's going to help offset it. The only other... if we draw them. Oh, yeah, only if we draw them. So it's not a consistent perk in my mind as if a third player who would always be around to help us. <laughs> That's why I don't have high confidence in your plan. Believe me, it's fine. One of the other things we get to do is we can choose any equipment we want. Okay. We can choose that and someone else is going to get a level up card. So let's choose between these two level up cards. This is also part of the ghost expansion. So moving target, when you are visible, each group of at least three enemies shooting on your tile uses two less dice. So you can dodge a little bit. That's mm -hmm. always on. And then accurate aiming, once per level, one of your shots or grenade throws eliminates up to six enemies on the targeted tile. Don't roll, just automatic. Hmm. So you and I are picking one of those? One. We pick one of these to, for one of us to have. And we also pick an equipment for someone to have. I don't know if I need anything particular, unless maybe I get smoked to help help protect myself if I get spotted and cornered. Um, I could use the accurate aiming with my mortar, because I could take out six guys with a mortar shot, but I don't need it. Um, if you want the moving target, you can take that I'm, instead. I'm leaning towards the moving target, and then someone else gets equipment, so you can take smoke? Sure, we can okay. do that. You take moving target? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so this is... Are you sure you could kill six guys? That's pretty good. If you're sending me into the fray, it's fine, fine. As the <laughs> go getter, okay. I'm going to be able to dodge. Okay, you want to dodge? Yes. Fair enough. But there has to be three enemies, so. Well, yeah. Well, there's most likely gonna be three enemies shooting at you, so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we did that. Now we can pick an equipment. If you don't mind grabbing a smoke for me, smoke grenade, and that's just our offset from our starting setup. Okay. So I get one of these smoke grenades. It's gonna help me stay stealthy. Okay. Cool. So let's look at this board. So we have to blow up these two thingies. Those two thingies, yep. That's the official term, by the way, thingy. Yes. <laughs> That's the hole. Of and I ship. think um, you have to be outside. Ideally, you need to be outside, yes. I don't have to be. I can be like play normal too and run around with you. It's no big deal. Well, here's a strategy suggestion. Okay. What okay. if we start we start in any open trapdoor, and we could technically split up. We don't have to be in the same spot. We could, but if we start over here, mm -hmm. 
and I work my way this way to blow this up, you could blow that up from way over here, right? No. My motor uh, gun, if you look at it closely, it only has, it just rolls three dice. It doesn't have the symbol that means a big explosion to take out that. So I can't blow it up. But you have to be at least two spaces away, right? I do, but it's not big enough to explode that, that objective remotely. Oh. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. We need to use TNT or something. Oh, you know what? I, we didn't put the TNT on the board. I totally forgot to do that. I'm sorry. There's supposed to be TNT here and here in that open spot. Because normally the map does provide you the loot or equipment you need to complete the objective. Ah, I forgot to do that. So let's go and do that. There's TNT here and right here in the opening. All right. <clears throat> So okay. it would be kind of... I still think we'd have to go this way and then run. And I can stealthily run into here and drop it. Okay. And then your mortar does not help me over here. No, it doesn't. But maybe you and the doggo can go that way. Yeah, I can run with the dog and help you out. So my, help, my plan is to set up camp with the mortar guy and then use the dog to help you out. Okay. All right. So which one is my not... Well, first, before we do anything, let's do the first event. So oh. we have double time. During this turn, injured commandos, except those in critical, ignore any minus one token on their command card, which does nothing for us because we're not injured. But they are moving north. Okay. Now do we put our guys down or do we... Yes. So if I come here... Okay. Is that one? Yes. Then I'm going to go two... Normally, it's two actions to do that, but you have a special ability. So. Yes, I can stealthily move into a medium tile for one action. Mm -hmm. So I have one action left. Yep. I don't think I'm going to have a bad guy issue, so I'm going to run here, and I'll just pick this up. Okay. So I'm not saving an action, but there I am. Okay. I am in a much more... Actually... Or start over on that side. Well, no, if the dog's supposed to help me. How about we wreck on that a little bit, and how about I go first? Why? Because that way Gander can be with you. Oh. Yeah. So what I'll do is I will have... I'll go first, and I'm going to enter here for one action, stealthily. Second action, I'll have Gander enter. My third action, I'll save a plus one token. And then when you enter, Gander has an ability for zero actions. He can... He can passively follow you. So it holds okay. to follow you over there. Okay. So we fixed it. Yep. It's fine. It doesn't change anything. It just allows me to gander out there quicker. Okay. So now... Now we do the bad guy stuff. So now they're going to spawn. And I'm only drawing one. Only so drawing one. Over here. For a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to put them in there. Okay. Big spot. And then one over here. Oop. Dead draw. Yep. Oh, technically, no, that's fine. You add them after you draw. Well, if I draw them, I'll just... Okay. And one here. Okay. And just a reminder, when you draw these no uh, no spawn tokens, you then put a special unit into it, so it ramps up the difficulty as you go. Okay. That's it. And then they will move north, if possible, if they're not guarding something. So this guy is going to move north through that door. Yep. That's all the movement. They try shooting us. They don't know we're there yet. <laughs> I know, at the end of this next turn, somebody left their clip. I blame the dog. The, no. <laughs> it is, it, he's a good boy. He's a good, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> All right, here's our next event. It's jammed. During this turn, the first commando rolling a one on a shooting die roll jams his weapon. The shot is canceled. The weapon cannot shoot until the next turn. Cool. Okay. I'm going to move east. Well. I'm going to move east, yes. So I need to get into this tile, ideally. So I think I'll go first. I'll go one, two, three, and I'll just camp there. What are you... Are you going this way, or are you going to blow that I'm up? I'm staying there. I'm waiting for the alarm to go off, and then fire some mortar shots. I had to get in position first. Are you going to mortar that big spot? Yeah, probably. Maybe I just go blow this up first. Go and sneak into there? I could send the dog in there too, potentially. There's only one guy in there. Well, actually, I can't. I don't have any more actions. But the dog can follow you. 
Yeah, but if I use my TNT on this one, mm -hmm. I can just go get that thing. Or I have to go all the way around. Unless you had that sneaky through wall thing. Oh, be quiet. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted the bigger gun. That's what I get. I should have. On this map, yes. It probably would have been helpful. It's yeah, not every map works, but that this one would have been good. Um, the next one, it wouldn't have. Ma it would have mattered a little bit, but not much. Steve, you got to tell me these things. I did tell you. I literally <laughs> said, "You want this side?" You're like, "Nope, I'm good." Give me that bigger gun. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, I am going to go. If I go one, two, I can sneak in here. Yep, you have to do a stealth check if you do that. But I can knife him in the throat. If you survive the stealth check. I'm gonna survive the stealth check. Okay. I'll Gander follow you just in case. And, well, technically Gander would have to roll stealth check too. Well, let's keep him back here. Keep him back there? Then he can... Well, then keep him right here. We'll just move one space with you. Okay. Okay. And then roll your die. So on a stealth check, you roll one die. If you have an eyeball in it, they spot you. Oops. Oh, boy. Was that here? It was here. He's guarding it. This guy's guarding it. I know, but the door was here? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, okay so I'm still stealthy. Yep. So I have one action left. Yep. I'm slicing his throat. Okay. Oh. Dead. <clears throat> do I throw this in here? You do. And then you draw a loot. Got another crowbar. Cool. <laughs> Double fist. <laughs> Double fist and crowbars! <laughs> oh, yeah. And I will... Do I put the TNT here? I might you don't just, have any actions. I might as well drop it. Though. You don't have any, why would you drop it? You have to oh, it's, it it's one to set it. It's one to set okay. it. One action. Okay. Yeah. Well. Take your chances. I'm out of actions because it was one, two, three to kill. Yeah. The only thing I could do is I do have a plus one saved, but the dog's not in position to help. So. Why did Why did you leave the dog here? Because now we can't follow any of us. Because I would have to, um, I would have to roll a stealth check for him. But why didn't you stay with you? Fine, you stay with me. Okay, <laughs> protect me, I guess. It's got to protect somebody. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and spawn the enemies. Are you doing anything on your turn? I did on my whole turn. I ran into position, remember? Wasn't that turn one? No, I stayed here and had the dog move this way, remember? Oh. Yeah. Not as fast as you. No, you're scout. not. I'm drawing all two pips. That's okay. I they don't know where we are yet. They are, like right now, aren't they? They're no, finding not yet. At the end of this turn, they will. Aha, one pip where I needed it. Okay, and you have to do a stealth check. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. You're good. He, did, he walked in there. We didn't see you. He's like, "Hey, what's what's going hiding, on here?" I'm hiding under the let desk. Me, let me go uh, guard this. So, <laughs> and then my friends on a bathroom break. Yeah, exactly. And then you move east if possible. So it looks like those guys. A bunch of them are gonna move east. And that is it for movement. Okay, end of the second round. Hey, they found the clip. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Where? <laughs> Where? Yep. Okay. So, so the alarm is off. Way? The, the alarm is on. On. The alarm is triggered okay. at the end of the second turn. Yep. And the nice thing about this game is to remember that you can take the event deck and pull out some cards if you notice I only had two cards for the event deck. And now I'm going to put grab the rest of the cards and, and play them. So it's an easy way of keeping track of when things happen in the game. And technically this is going off too. So now I can use loud stuff, but it might be visible. So... That is it. Yeah, you're gonna be. You could so you could shoot that thing. I could totally shoot that thing. Okay. I probably will. There we go. What is this? Spread out. It says uh, during enemy movement step, one commander wearing a German uniform may move up to six enemy units of their choice, not protecting a triangle token onto an adjacent tile. That's cool. I wasn't listening. <laughs> so I'll read it. I was looking at the board, thinking about what I was doing. We're, we're not in German uniform. So if you're in okay. German uniform, you can control where the guys move, basically. Okay. And they're moving north. Sorry, I was wife mode, selective hearing. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hopefully, it'll be, so ears will be ringing from all the border shots going off. Yes. Okay, so I think I want to set the TNT. I do you want to go in that room? Okay. Can you send the dog towards you? What is the dog going to do when he's with me? He can bite. He can bark. 
He doesn't have to do any of that stuff though either. So does he? But that takes movement from. It takes actions from me. Yep. I think you need to do you because okay. my my plan is I'll set the TNT here. I'm yep. gonna try to sneak into that room. Uh, you mean eliminate guys first and then walk in there? Oh well, actually no. I'll, I'll set the TNT here. Uh huh. Pick this one up, and then I can run back towards this you. This door is wrong. This door's oh. into here with your massive dice roll. Yes. Sorry. Okay, yeah. well, it got easier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I do have to go in there. You do. Unless you eliminate the guy and he drops TNT. Or someone else will eliminate drops TNT. So, slice his throat. You want to start or you want me to start? Well, your mortar stuff. Oh, I'll start. Okay, okay. I'm use the mortar. Okay. So, I'm going to target this tile way up here. It does take two actions to do it. So, I need a four or higher to hit there. If I hit with two dice, I get an extra kill automatically. That's the, that's the special ability of the mortar. Here we go, and I rolled Holy horribly. Holy cow! It was really windy. <laughs> How did you pass basic training? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was epically bad. Um, I could fire again. <laughs> Are you now visible though? No, because if you look at the the mortar I'm oh, using, yeah. it only makes only sets the alarm off. Yeah, they that's don't, already they it's don't already going me. off. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I decided to choose this guy because it's kind of cool. I do have an action save, so I can do that again. Let me try to take another shot. What else would you do? Um, send the dog your way, but I think taking another shot makes sense. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can calibrate that shot this time. <laughs> so, because it's not heading towards my direction, so I'm not worried about that. No. There you go. Second shot. I hit one of them. That's one of them. Um, I, I'm nervous about this. You know, just basic training, a little, little. Well, now they see you. <laughs> um. Yes or no? How does that work with the mortar? That's a good question. That's a good question. Why would it be any different than? Because I'm nowhere near that spot. Oh, wait, no, I actually saw the mortar fly and hit them. Yeah. Yeah, that makes Here's sense. There's a trail. <sighs> okay, so now I'm visible, which is not ideal. I'm gonna die. This is a bad plan. <laughs> hey, you did it. Okay. <laughs> you did it. So. Hmm. You're out of actions. You have nothing else actions. to do. Yeah, I'm done. So. All right. The dog I... can't save me. I am going to slice this guy's throat. Okay. It's one. Okay. Hopefully he drops the TNT and I don't have to go anywhere. Okay. Oh. Nope, you're okay. There's I'm no okay. one there. No one there. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Um. Two. Yep. Um. I should run away because there are guys coming in here. Uh huh. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, because they're coming this way towards me. All of them. I'm going to die. You're not going to... You're fine. Are you sure? No, but you're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So now... So now... Bad guy spawn. Mm -hmm. So two guys for each spawn point. This is, this you, is not you good. You are in trouble. Told you I was in trouble. Like, no, you're fine. <laughs> I'm totally screwed. Don't put him back. Good. Huh. Yeah. Oops. Please. Okay, which one is it? I'm going to do that one. Okay, so this one. What is this one? So this is the luck token. This will probably look funny in here, but that's fine. So we drew one of them. Thank you. Let's that's check. better. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Focus. Which one is that one? Focus. It's not going to focus. I could turn it off. <laughs> no, it's fine. So that one means... Minus one eyeball visible and plus one Oh, of these. sweet. What, what is so this? So permanently remove a spot token from the reserve. Which is the bag? Yep. Yes. So in the bag, pull one out. And instead, we put one of these in. Which means they're going to surrender instead. Which is okay. awesome. Which... They surrender, we win the mission? No, 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 no. <laughs> Just means that when you draw that, any other guys there will leave the board. 
Okay. But that one visible token is out of the mission game entirely now. That's correct. Okay. But correct. these that we pulled would go back in. If we get through the whole bag, okay. which is unlikely. Okay. okay. What happened? Oh, I finished putting the... That was the second one. Was, you have yeah. to redraw, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't take place at the spawn. Should have kept... Ooh. Okay, this is bad. So this guy has to guard the objective because the other guy will not. The special units never guard objectives. Now they're going to move. So, so he's going to move here. He has to see you to see me? He's going to do a stealth check. He's going to see if he can find you. Let's, can I do that in order? Um, all will move, though. Okay. So these guys will move here. That's full. These guys will come down this direction. That's fine. I'll blow them up. Ooh, I'm going to blow them all up. Okay, uh, this is actually not bad, Steve. You just have to live. <laughs> just have to win. Yeah. These guys would come here. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, it's definitely this way. So these guys come this way. Here and here. Okay. So now you have to do a stealth check. You're good. Ninja. Okay, so now they will do a shooting step. Which case, this guy... And all of these f f guys are going to attack me. Whoa, well, I was... Okay, I was kind of thinking it was just the guys in your spot. Nope. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, um... Yeah, that's what I said. I'm screwed. <laughs> like, oh, it's fine. You live. You live. The only the only benefit to this is Gander is there and he has med pack. So he can maybe give you the med pack and you can bring it back to life. <laughs> the okay, here we go. They need a, hey, they only need a four plus to hit me. You rolled three ones already. <laughs> I don't have five faith in you. Yeah, see, it's fine. It's fine. Look, it's only one, two, three, four, five hits to my three life. It's fine. It's fine. Just horrible, horrible rolling luck. Okay, so I'm critically wounded. <laughs> oh my god. It's going great. You know, a third player may have helped us. No, because I would have killed them off too. <laughs> Okay, so I'm bleeding out. Um, yeah, about that. Jeez. And next event. Here we go. Never alone, which you might be in a little bit here. <laughs> During this commando turn, every time two commandos' equipment tokens are given, discarded to resistance, eliminate one regular enemy unit alone on a tile. So we can bribe the resistance to take out guys. And then moving north, if they don't see us, but right now they, they well, they don't see me else because I'm... You're, you're, they think you're dead. They're going to yeah. be on with regular business now. That's right. Which actually is not bad, but I still have to go save you. Uh-huh. Because you will die and will lose the game if I don't. Um, no, not necessarily. You'll be playing by yourself. Well, how does Gander work in that case? I'd have to take him... No, because you'd have no actions to give Gander. Yeah, you probably have to go get Gander, and then he'll follow you. I think that's probably how it works. So. Okay, well, I'm going to have to save you, otherwise... Okay. I can't move into the spot. I have to shoot from where I am. Yes. And I only have three actions. Yes. You royally screwed us. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I think I have to... Knife that guy. Knife this guy first. Yep, for sure. One... One action down. Uh-huh. Another crowbar. <laughs> Three crowbars. Okay. Um, I have to shoot one yep. of those guys, so... Uh, both of them. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, but two happens. You need a four plus. 50-50 so chance. This is second action. Got one. Okay. I don't have enough actions to save you. I gotta be a German uniform. Oh, well, that stops. That drops in that space. You oh. don't have it yet. No. Then this space. Oh, this one. Yeah. Now, second action, I'd move here. I one, can take. One, two, three. Or a third one, I'd move yep. here. I'd yep. take the med pack, but I don't have a fourth action to save you. Nope. So, since I can't revive you this turn, is that it for you? Uh, yes. But you probably wanna go get Gander anyway. I'm sorry, but I don't really want to play this game on my own. Okay. <laughs> you want to see how quickly I'm going to see how quickly I li how quickly I die. Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay. I'm taking Gander. You have to do a stealth check. Damn it. Now you're visible. You have no actions left. Okay, so you're going to die too. 
I'm not gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> oh no! Instead of moving, I should have just blown that. It's zero up. actions. You can blow it up anytime. Okay. Well, these guys are. I'm blowing this up. Zero actions. Okay. So I at least did half of the objective. You would technically get experience, or someone would get experience. Okay. That's who it okay. is. And maybe this saves it. And I may not die because I have my dodgy thing. That's true. Uh, so you have smoke once per level. All commanders any tile, medium or small, become stealthy. Actually, you have to do a stealth check too, by the way. I got, you, I'm visible. Why are you visible? Because I failed a stealth check coming in here. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, once per turn, if you are if you are stealthy, make one attack for zero action points. Ignore and replace one spot token drawn. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. I, again, was doing other things. <laughs> Does this token go back in the bag, or is it blown up? Uh, it gets put in a discard pile. Okay. Yep. So... So... One use per level, all commandos on your time. Well, it doesn't matter if you're not just five. You become stealthy. Yeah. Next turn, if you are stealthy, make one attack for no actions. Yeah, this turned turn real bad real fast. I don't think my strategy worked very well. Yeah. Um, why don't I take smoke? Because then I can just go boom invisible right now and then try to be safe yes i can what are you doing um let's make sure the stream's still going yeah it is okay good i lost my uh, my screen so okay we're just very lagged i know um it doesn't matter what you pick because you're not gonna survive anyway but here you can take smoke you can do actually you can do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. So you'd be stealthy. Stealthy, except for this guy would look for me right away. No, no he's you're leave. stealthy now. You're fine. He's gonna leave. He's gonna okay, leave. so once per level, I've used it this level. Yeah. Watch me complete this on my own, Steve. <laughs> Put a red token in the bag. Now I have a question though. For the rest of the mission, you're dead. I'm gonna die at the end of this. Yes. I'm just gonna beat this level. Okay. 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 So I always like playing um, where if anybody dies, you lose the game. We it's all like, lose. We all lose because I think that makes that makes the most sense. If I beat this level, I propose we bring you back in as a new player because the mortal gunner, mortal, 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 mortal. <laughs> mortal. <laughs> He's not mortal anymore. <laughs> so. Well, because he died. I think that would be good. But yeah. if it'd be a miracle if I survived this. Yes. Okay. So what am I doing now? You are spawning bad guys. Oops. Okay, there's all our bad guys. And now they move north. Yep, because they're all still, they don't see us. They don't care about you. Yeah, no, they don't. <laughs> Enemies down. Well, take, well, take them so alive until the very end, so, but yes. Oops. It's over there. These are here. My strategy did not work. No, you think? I don't have... I have to go pick up this TNT still. Yep, or you can try to see if you get lucky with the loot drop. Just go over there and start gunning the people down and hope for the best. You could. You could try that as an option. Yeah. Okay. There's and then no there. Way. Okay. Yeah, There's I don't think no you can do way. it. Okay. Six cents. Commando gains a plus one action token. See, that's what you get. Plus one action token. Right now? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And I'm. Wah, wah. But there's smoke now in that spot. You can pick up. And you got Gander with you. If I walked into that room with. A German uniform on? Would they question me? Yes, you still roll stealth check because they they'll ask you like, "Hey, you, are you familiar here or whatnot?" What not? Oh, so the German the, the benefit of the German uniform it treats every tile as a small tile. Okay, that's the benefit of it. Oh, but see, I'm a scout. It doesn't matter for me. It does because you can walk into a. Uh... Actually, no, it doesn't matter for you. Yeah, it's one action for you to move into there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I might as well pick up the smoke. And I got, I'm gonna run this way. Okay. There's no way I can take all those guys out. No, you don't think you do it. Does he follow for free, right? 
Who does? The dog. Yeah, so follow you for free. Correct. One, two. Charge! <laughs> three. Still check three dice? Yes. Ah, oh, I got visible. Okay. Do I have to do that for the dog too? Uh, technically, the dog would roll too. There it is. For him. Ah, stealthy dog. This dog is fine. He can bite them, by the way, for one action, immediately kill them. Okay. You have to roll. I have. Um, You're visible. I'm visible. You do have smoke. Do you have another action left? It was one, two, three. I could use the smoke with my plus one. I think I should do that. Yeah, that's not bad. Well, you have, wait, one, two, three. You have another action, though, don't you? Yeah. Because you have a plus one. You could turn off the alarm. But I'm in the room and I'm visible. I either... Well, you, you go smoked, throw the smoke down, and then you can turn off the alarm, potentially. It's not an action to throw the smoke down? It is. That's why you have a plus one. You I'm, have four I'd actions. be using the plus one. Correct. To throw the smoke. Correct. I was here, Stephen. Oh. One, two, three. Just kidding. So I have to use the plus one to drop the smoke just and kidding. just hide under a desk. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Not visible anymore. Smoke bomb. <laughs> this is this is gonna be so bad. All right, we are going to have that. All right. Okay. Now the bad guys move. Which direction? They are moving. No, spawning first. Spawning first. Yeah, roll two die more dice for the stealth check for the guys entering that area. I'll get there. This is this is bad news bears. If this if this is pulled off. Yep. So, two dice. I will. There's no way. Ooh! What does this thing do? I don't know. It does a question mark with a thing. That obviously means something. Sorry, I have to look these up. I don't have to... It is each commander rolls one die for every weapon they control. Oh wait, doesn't matter. If you picked up an extra weapon, you potentially would it would no longer function. Oh, okay, good. So, so I need to roll two die for a stealth check for the guys that just entered, right? Do you, you have to draw another one though because. Yeah, it doesn't replace a spawned guy. Oh, yeah. oh that, okay. that does. So you have to roll two dice. And I'm You're very definitely visible. Spotted. Oh, I wasted my smoke. Let's yep. check the dog. He... Yeah, okay, we're all dead. Yep. Game over. And now everyone's going to shoot. So basically. two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dice. <laughs> There's no way. That's I, all the dice. I screwed it up. I screwed yeah, it up. Yeah, that's all the dice. Game over. Oh, no, don't fall. All right. I screwed it up. All right, all right. So Kim's going to just destroy the board as he rolls all How the many? dice How many? Three plus. Three Yeah, I'm very dead. One, two, I'm, I'm, three, I'm more than... four. <laughs> Game over. Wait. One, two, One, two three, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's enough to take out the dog in you. We are dead. <laughs> okay. That was terrible. So that was a really bad way of playing the game. Yes, it was. Um, I don't know if my strategy was the best. Well, it didn't help that you rolled terrible on your first go. Yeah, I I think that was a bad strategy with the mortar gunner. I thought it was going to work. So I think what I need to do is pick a different character and try it. Try a different strategy. Okay. So maybe we do that real quick and try again. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, let's do it. All right, reset. Reset the board. I have to find that little green token out of here. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, and then you got to take out however many officers, too. Three officers? Uh, seven officers have to start out. So I have one, to take three two, out. One, two, three, four, five, two more. Oh, no, one more. We're good. Six, seven. We're good. Okay. Um, I don't know where that little green token is. When we draw it, it's fine. Okay. So this goes in the bag. Yep, that goes in the bag. And okay, so all these guys. While she does that, let's look at the other characters in the game. Let's take advantage of this situation. 
So I've got all the characters you can get here. There's the officer, which I think we showed in the past. He's kind of cool because he can command lots of guys to do an attack all at once. Um, and he's got an awesome stealth weapon. There's the other side. He does the same thing, but um, he can command one person. The sniper, which you also saw, she's got two cool abilities. One, she can shoot uh, the, the spawn points, so you can shoot the driver uh, before they get come out. The nice thing about this one is her weapon is loud, but it does not have an eyeball, so that you're not visible when you use it. So it actually is a pretty good choice for this map, or for this situation. Um, okay, so this one shoots a truck driver, and this one is... Yeah, she's just more accurate with a weapon. Uh, the Butcher, which is pretty interesting. He might draw two knives, which is kind of cool. Um, but he can he can perform close combat even when he's visible, which is pretty cool. Um, here's the other stealth guy, Sergeant Bruno. Um, he can sneak around just like the scout. He's like another scout, kind of, with some other abilities as well. Because he does have a stealth weapon on one side. Um, what I might do... I'm not sure. I do like the Cyber Two. He's one of my favorite favorite characters. Ooh, should we do the Death Cheater? So this guy's interesting. He can't save any tokens, but he does get four action points. That's the and he as a passive, you can play you can play one more AP during the command space you can get four. And once per turn, for their actions, when this character suffers a shot, we roll up to four dice hitting him to perform a shot on the aggressor's tile. Any successful dice eliminates one enemy unit and cancels one injury the death of the cheetah would have suffered. So if he would take, excuse me, would take damage, he fires back and he immediately stops it. Which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll do him. I haven't done him in a while. All right. I have a question. Are these guys supposed to be on the double pips? Uh, yes, double pips when starting the game. Okay. What's this other one? Passive. After having shot, does not become visible if there is no enemy unit remaining on the tile. Or the two tiles in contact with the targeted door. After having shot, does not become visible if no enemy unit remaining on the tile. I don't understand how, what that means, to be honest. Can I read it? Yeah, the passive on this one. <clears throat> You can play one more or the second passive one. Yeah. After after you shoot, you don't become visible if there's no enemy unit remaining on the tile or the two tiles in contact with the targeted oh, door. It means, that means because normally the gun you become visible, but if you eliminate everyone, you're okay. That's kinda cool. Yeah. Okay, right, let's do it that's you. I haven't done played him in forever. So as you can tell, I'm like, how does this guy work again? I'm not really sure. We'll try that. Which side, though? Um, I like the reactionary fire. Okay. That sounds kind of cool. Well, Counter attack. Are you questioning yourself? I'm questioning. Because if the alarm's already going off... Yeah, let's do, let's do that side. Because the counter attack's pretty cool, but... but... It stops. It makes it more survivable. If I'm getting shot at. The question is, do I want to be visible more often, or do I want to be not visible? I think I'll be more stealthy. I think I'll shoot this side. So this is the one after having shot. I don't become visible if I eliminate everyone. Okay. Risky? Well, I'm just saying, because we're blowing stuff up, it's going to be loud anyway. Yeah, it's going to be loud, but I'd rather be stealth stealthy. Oh, okay. Right? okay. Because okay. if I use this weapon at all, because that's an eyeball on it, I immediately become stealthy. Or visible, sorry. But now if I eliminate everyone, I do not. Okay. So we'll try that. Okay. Do you shuffle these event cards all back together? Um, I will do that, yes. And then we need to level up. Now, technically, and I think this is so Wait, this is the house for part of it. What? Wait, I had discarded the experience stuff. Was I supposed to? What experience stuff? The experience cards that I had. No, that's good because we're okay, start, we're start starting again. over. Yeah, so technically, when you play the now this is a household part of it. When you do play with solo, you get to choose one of these solo level ups, and one of the solo level ups lets you pick any one you want. So technically, instead of doing random like we did last time, maybe it's better that we pick one. 
to give us a dem that advantage. Anyone we want. You want to try to say? Yeah. But did you put the green thingy in here too, or is the that... green thingy always goes in there? Okay. So talk about the luck token. That always goes in there. We have to work right. with that. Well, I think I want persistence. Persistence. It will it, a card that stays with me. Okay. Well, think about us too. So. Think about you. Consider yeah, you. Too. And... <laughs> yeah, both of us. <laughs> so. Because. Oh, actually, what I could do. If you pick the, the level up, if I get the um, binoculars, now he'll let me re-roll, and then I can re-roll anything. It'll let me make sure my gun hits more often, because I can, uh, I can roll bad, apparently. Yes, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> okay, I'll choose that. Here, you so. gotta find it. Okay. Well, Cam well, looks at her ability. I'm tempted to do just hidden and dangerous. Once per turn, if you are stealthy, make one attack for zero action points. I then ignore and replace one spotted token drawn because of this attack by another That's equipment. pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you can totally do that. I'm going to choose the binoculars for my item to get. Okay. But that doesn't matter, though, because my gun is going to be loud. If There's also one that's really good, um, Spectre, that you can look, look for. The Spectre is pretty nice because you get to roll the red dice. So in the game, in the ghost, you do get these red dice. The nice thing about this one, only one of the sides is a fail for stealth check. And so if you want to walk up to people, you can do it that way. Mm. So. But you have to be by yourself, which most likely you might be. Maybe. Ooh, I like chain shots. Okay. Every time you spend one action point to shoot with a one or two dice weapon and get at least one hit, you can immediately perform perform one shot on another tile for zero action points. Yeah. I like that one. Oh. Um, easy Prey, is that one you're talking about? Every no, time I'm talking about Spectre. So. Okay, so while she does that, let me shuffle up this deck, and then we can get going. So, okay. So, let's see what our first event is. We are going to be starting with this one here. You know what's waiting for us. Add one Goliath to the end reserve on the tile containing Goliath's nest. So, the Goliath is in the uh, Secret Weapons expansion, and they're not in this game currently because they're basically these the small personnel tanks that you drive around and blow them up. So basically, this is not going to do anything for us. So it's just going to have the bad guys move south. Okay, here we go, and then so it has two sixes on it. Okay, so yeah. I am I am torn between Spectre and Chain Shot. Ah, I knew it. Yeah. I'm very, what do you so specter instead of rolling a blue die i roll a red die so i could be more stealthy chain shot if i hit somebody i can make another shot for free but has been an, another um, tile adjacent tile yeah it's the adjacent tile i'm gonna i'm gonna go sure uber does. stealth scout okay, okay. you specter yes okay so just so everyone can see it here is the card that's i like this one a lot the other one is where you can upgrade all the stealth check dice with red dice. I don't remember what, what that's called offhand, but it's another blue one if you want to that one instead. But the problem is you have to be by yourself. Nope, this one's fine. Okay. Just... All right, do you have your... Yeah, here's the other one, the Solitary Shadow. If there are no other commandos on your tile, you perform your stealth checks with red dice completely. Are you keeping... Uh... Gander? Excuse me, yes, Gander? Um... No. Why not? Isn't he just like a free buddy? Sure. He'll be a free buddy. Fine. Well, Gander's joining us again. So Since I'm playing with a man down? What? No, you're not. You're playing with two man down because I'm horrible at this game. <laughs> I didn't say it. You didn't say it. Said it. <laughs> so, let me find... This guy totally looks like uh, the Winter Soldier when I look at him. I don't know what it is about his, his stuff. That's what I think it's about when I see him. Very generic. Very generic? Yeah. Well, he's got like a little star on his lapel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so, know do you want to put this somewhere? Uh, no, I don't want to put this somewhere. Oh, wait, here's the thing. Yeah. Okay. So, we do that card. We can then enter the board and get going. So, do you want to start us off? 
while I find the last token for this guy. Okay. Um. Yes. One Goliath from. So this is inapplicable. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, it's but they're south. gonna move south. Yep. Do I spawn bad guys? Not yet. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Okay. I'm gonna go. One, two, three. Same plan. Unless you want me to bring the dog with me, and you go first. No, it's fine. Okay. I'll the dog come with me. Okay. So I also spawn. Um. So I think you can follow me into that room. So I'll just follow. So one, uh, we'll go two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. And I have four actions, so he'll run out here. Okay. Okay. And technically there's TNT in that spot. Not here. So let's put TNT there. Did you want to pick it? Yeah, you, you I'd, the I'd pick it up. Yeah. I had it in the wrong room. Okay. That is it. And it is bad guy spawn. Guys. Round one. two. Fight. Fight. I still really want to watch that Mortal Kombat movie. I do too. Oh, we spawn there. That's nice. Yeah, somehow we gotta try to find that. Now my mom movie. has HBO Max, so okay. we are gonna go to her house and have her babysit. <laughs> what are you guys watching? Don't come in here, son. It's not for you. <laughs> okay. I wanna see. No. No, no, not this movie. Okay, so he's found everyone. Everyone's gonna move south. The bad news is that guy is gonna move south in my spot. Right now? Yes, right now. Stealth check, Steven. Okay, so for me, I'm the dog. The dog. So first one is for me. Good. I'm good. Second one's for the dog. Also good. good. All right. Okay. And then they shoot at us. Nothing happens. Okay. Draw the card. Draw the second card. We have your okay, soldier. This is what we should have used last time. During this turn, one injured commando, not in critical condition, removes a minus one token from the yeah, commando card. Free heal. And they move north. Okay, so first thing is... You should just kill that guy. Yeah. So the dog will bite. <laughs> okay, and you drop some loot. You took the loot bag. Yep. And then let's see what the loot is, and then we'll probably wind up... Ooh, a big gun. A big one. Definitely take that. So this one is nice because it roll, rolls three dice. So actually, the nice thing about that is with my special ability... It helps me limit all the enemies easier. Okay, so that's one. Um, let's go ahead and move over here for two. I have two actions left. I might as well shoot in there. Because the alarm's going to go off at the... Well, actually, it does... I don't know. Maybe it's not worth shooting in there right now. Yeah, the alarm's not set to go off. There's no card that says we've left behind evidence at this time. No, it, it will happen at the end of this turn. Oh. Did yeah. I guess that? Yeah. Okay. So the question is, if I shoot in there now, I've got two actions. I can shoot in there. I If I can limit all of them, no, nothing happens. Well, the alarm still goes off. So they're, they are going to spawn two. Um, but I have two actions left, so I can most likely clear that room for you. But the alarm will be going off. This is assuming... That you hit them. I'm rolling three dice and I got reroll. Okay. I just need to run away if I don't eliminate all of them. So they'll come after me? No, just that they don't see me. Okay. So let's see what happens. Okay, three dice. I need a three plus to hit and I can potentially reroll one of them. So I have to take out all of them. That is not how you, this is not how you roll the okay. dice. This is deja vu. This is it's not. the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad at this. Oh my gosh, Steven. Okay, so I'm visible. Let me move back a space. So you're invisible? Now I'm visible. Okay. Invisible. Invisible. And I'll have Gander stay with you or maybe follow me. I think he's better off with me. <laughs> I probably is better off with you. <laughs> so you know. Although you have more actions to uh, use. He'll actually, stay, maybe stay with me. It's better because you do have more actions. Yeah. So it's better that he okay. stays with you. But oh my gosh, Steven. That was really bad. The alarm's going off. Because that was no easy weapon. <laughs> oh, so, Steve. I roll three dice. 50-50 chance, and I got nothing. <laughs> Multiple times Multiple today. Multiple times. It's so bad. But at least we're not in a horrible situation. 
I think we have different definitions. No, it's, the alarm's on. Oh, well, That's okay. The alarm's going to go off at the end of this turn anyway. No big deal. All right. But see, now I'm going to go in there, and two guys will spawn. You can shoot in there first. You have the capability. Or you can walk in there with the red dice. I'm going to shoot in there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, being so loud right now. Hey, is that how you limit you guys? I got one. <laughs> Let me take this guy. Okay. You're now visible. That's all right. Let's see what Luke gets dropped there. Grenade, nice. So that was one action. Yep, invisible. I'm gonna shoot again for a second action. Okay. Oh That's gosh. not tight. For the amount it. of crap I gave you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Run away. Yeah, third action. I'm backing up. So we shot in there, they know we're nearby, people are dying, but they one, don't know where are. One person died. That's true. One person died, you're right. Okay, so let's spawn back, guys. Rough. Rough start. All right. Two but guys. we're safe there, so that's good. Yeah. They're moving north, so it's yeah, okay. North. Yep. Oh, bonus. Oh, that is... An action, so we get an action to right now, or I think we can turn off the alarm. Let me double check that. So if we turn it off, would they turn it back on? If it's because of the mission or no? Oh yeah, they would turn it back on. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a replacement up there. If there are no visible commandos, the alarm is deactivated. Otherwise, perform one action of yeah. Yeah, so you can get a plus one token. Get a plus. You can either turn off the alarm or get a plus one token. Get a plus would, one token. Okay. I can't take him, so you, you get it. Okay. Okay. Where do you want this? It's just like over there. Fine. Yep. All right. So that is that, and then now north. enemies move. And then, yep. So all almost all those guys. Yep. Now oh, it's easy to get in that spot. You can easily sneak in there now. Yeah. Okay, so now that's it. Now the alarm's going off, but it's already off, so no big deal. Here we go, event card. Alarm! During this turn, the alarm is silent. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, but we don't know. Oh, she has mines. The alarm is not working, is what it says here. But we don't know where the enemy's going. Okay. So it basically means that we're only going to spawn one guy in each of the spots. Yep. And then they'll go wherever. Yes. So I'm going to come in here. You want me to go first, so you have more actions, or do you want to go and then I shoot into that mess? Or don't maybe I don't bother shooting that mess. Or do I go that way and blow that one up? How? I have TNT. Oh, you do have TNT. What do you want you to have do? a crowbar too. Yeah, I mean I can go either way. Which? Um. Do you want me to give you the TNT, and then I can just try to get the other one? You could do that, sure. You, Yeah, are you going that direction while I go this direction? No, you... if I give you the TNT, I have to go that way and get that one. Oh, true. Or do you want to stay together? Probably makes sense to stay together. When okay. So we don't have bad things happening. All right. Um... Yeah, run this way, drop it off, pick that one up, then keep working our way around and come yeah. back. Yeah, okay. we can do that. All right, I have a crowbar, so I can open the door, Steve. Yes, but you want me to clear the way for you first? Okay. So I'll move one here. Second action, shoot into that area, and I roll three dice. If I get that guy, my, I'm not visible. I need a three plus. Okay. Got two hits, that's good. Took him out. There's your drop loot. Ooh, binoculars. You wanted those. You can take that one. I, got, I have a set. Oh, okay. So then I will, for 3 4, I'll move into that space. And maybe pick up a grenade. Unless okay. you want it. Nope. Okay. So 1, 2, pick this up. Nice. Now we both have binoculars. 3 to drop this. Okay. You have a plus 1. You could barricade that spawn point with your crowbar if you wanted. Then I can't open that door. Yes, so probably not do that. 
One guy's going to spawn in there. I'm going to risk one guy. I'm going to save my point. You do roll a red dice for your stealth check. So yeah. Probably okay. I'm going to save it. Okay. Actually, it's we're most, most, almost certainly okay. I might... Uh, no. We have re-rolls. We have re-rolls. Yeah. Okay. Here's one. Okay. And one. And one. And one. Ooh. Oh, wow. We got lucky. Lucky for sure. Cool. All right. So now where are they moving? They're moving... We don't know. Let's find out. They're moving uh, west. Okay. Just these guys. Correct. Okay. Next turn. That was fortuitous. Tracers. Uh, ten Thompson and bar weapons are loaded. Tracer ammunitions. I have uh, a Thompson. Cool. I don't have those. What does that do? During this turn, add one to the result of one die for every shot using one of these weapons. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. <clears throat> the question is, what do you do with this mess up here? I don't know. I think we just have to shoot into the room before. That's a lot to try to sneak into. No, you can't shoot. You can sneak into that. I can try shooting. Um, I won't eliminate all of them. It's the downside. You have a three dice weapon. Yeah, but there's five guys in there. That's the downside to it. I'll be visible for sure. Not if you run away. Yeah, I can run away. That's not, not a huge deal. Okay, let me just try that. I'll try to clear that out, and then maybe I have enough actions to use... Oh, you need to open that door first. Do you want me to open the door right now? But then I'd... You might have to go first. Yeah, yeah you might have to go first. Okay. Yeah, you need the door open to walk in there. Yeah. I mean, I can shoot the, I can shoot the door. And then you're wasting actions. I, I, I know, then I... Then I have three actions, two actions to shoot in there. Would you prefer that? Would you rather have me shoot the door and shoot there for two actions and then run away someplace else, but I won't be stealthy? Yeah, I'd, have to, I'd run back here. But then we're just kind of splitting up. Yeah, because you're going to get cut off by these guys. Right. I'll go first. So crowbar okay. to open the door for one. Okay. And I'm going to shoot in there. I'm going to... You gonna... do get plus one for one of your die rolls. Yes. Okay. Two hits, three and a five. Move you pick your targets. This guy that's okay. guarding the alarm. This guy. Okay. Draw two loot. You are vis visible, but you're visible anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. So second action, I think I'm gonna shoot again. Yes. You can add plus one to. This is two. That that's matter. not enough. Yep. So I got one. And third action, shoot again. I don't lose my crowbar if I'm opening the door, right? I'm no, third, you don't. Yeah, don't shoot. Yeah. Yep. Third action. Uh, are you going to come clean up the mess? Yes. Save your plus one. All right. I'm saving my plus one. Okay. So now it'll be my turn. I am going to use shoot into that room. So I need a three or higher. Got it. Normally I would be visible, but because of my special ability, I'm not. <clears throat> Smoke, perfect. Okay, so that's one action, two actions. I will move into here. No, two, three, I'll move into here. And I have another action, uh, two, three. Pick up the crowbar and open the door so you can go in there? I can also crowbar that. Oh yeah, that's not I good. think I'll do that. So two, three. I'll pick up this for free. And yeah, I like it. Jam the door. Oh, uh, I can only uh, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, I can only do one or the other. I can jam the door, or I could unlock the door. I feel like jamming that would be jam the door is better because yeah. I can get up there and open it. Do that. Okay. All right. And then that you is. have plus one, so you're visible. They're coming for you. I would definitely go here with your plus one. Uh, if I stealthily move to a medium tile, can I turn stealth when I get there? Yes. Perfect. Yep. So use your plus one to get up there. Yep. So now no one's visible. Okay, that was good. This is going a little better. Yep. All right. All right. They are moving north. That's fine. No, it's not fine. It's the spot. It's fine. Actually, we can blow it up before they get up there. Ha ha. True. Ha ha. 
That last spot's gonna be a problem. It is. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, so now they would move, start moving north. Now, before they do that, we can trigger this right now. And I think there's no reason why we shouldn't. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, might as well. Out. So let's take them out. And then these guys go up here. Boom, one objective done. Okay. Okay, put those back in the bag. They don't drop any loot because the explosion is too big. And then we add one to the bag, and we do level up. Or someone levels up. Here we go. So we get the choice between high precision, once per level, during this turn, every time you shoot or throw a grenade, you use red dice. That's pretty cool. Second one is fast and silent. Every turn you may make you may make one move on a small tile for zero actions. I like the fast and silent. Because we I feel like we're gonna need to dodge quite a bit. Yes. The question is, you got the stealth one. Um I think you should take one of them. You think so? Yeah. Spread the love, Steve. So you, are you thinking I should do high precision? Because I can kill a lot of guys that way. I do roll three dice. Every time. It's only once per level, though. And shoot or throw a grenade. Or run away for free, because if I don't... I think you should run. Okay, we'll take the yeah. fast and silent. The death should be fast and silent. Yes. Okay, right, that is it for us. We are going to... Draw card. We moved everyone. Yep. Yes, they moved north. We're done. Cool. Draw card. Event. Here we go. In the drop zone, during enemy reinforcement step, add one paratrooper token on every outdoor tile containing objective token. So over there. Yes. A paratrooper is the special upgraded elite units. That's what it is. These guys are paratroopers. So, and they're moving south as well. Mm hmm. Okay, so what do we need to do in this turn? I need to go first. I'm going to go open the door. Okay. Move. Okay. Pick this up. Okay. I might just save, but they're going to come in here. They might. They... Oh, wait, they will. Well, they could go here, arguably. Actually, I can turn off the alarm. I'll buy us another turn. Maybe. If it's over four, right? If... It's a uh four more, so we'll only draw one guy. So unless it unless it's a sledgehammer guy, they're not gonna enter. But no, we are at three right now. You said four or more. There's only two guys there. Oh, four guys, not no I'm counting number of dice. Yeah, yeah. There's only two guys. So how it works for the that uh crowbar is if there's four units on the outside of the spawn point, they will then break down the door and enter. Okay, so I think that's that's smart. Turn off the alarm mm -hmm. because then I don't want to get stuck here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So opening door one. Mm -hmm. Move in here. Pick this up. Two. Mm -hmm. Move back here. Three. Mm -hmm. I'm out of actions. Okay. Okay. And then I am going to, for an action, let's turn off the alarm. So let's flip all the spawn points over. You can only do that once per level because the first time it goes off, they're like, oh yeah, it's a false alarm. But at the second time, they're like, nope, no, something's up. It's fishy. Yep. Okay, so now, what do I want to do? I, ooh, this explosive shot is amazing. What explosive shot? This one here. Oh, the RPG? RPG, yeah. Yeah, you're full. I am full. You can the doggy carry it. Yeah, your dog could carry it. Or I can not use the grenades. I can grab something different, like the smoke. Swap. I feel it. like the smoke's better. <laughs> Let's swap this with the smoke. It's just free. Let's have the dog carry the RPG because that's hilarious to think about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just loaded it up. I could give the dog the smoke, but this is funnier. Okay. Um. So that was one, one action. action still. So yeah. let's go two up here. I had two actions left. Do I take the chance of shooting that? Take him out. I roll three dice. You're going to be loud then. Well, maybe. Well, oh, that's true. We'll be loud. We don't want to do that. I, we don't. Yes, we do not want to do that. Okay. That is it for me. It's going to be bad guys. Okay. Yeah. 
You know, you work have to grenade that spot. I want a paratrooper. Luckily, you did not draw a sledgehammer guy, and the paratrooper is going to go all up there in that tile due to the special drop zone okay. ability. But they're all moving south. <laughs> yes. So I need one, two, three, four. This guy moves first. But yes. Five, six, seven. Uh, I'm trying to move here. Wait. Two, yeah, this is a seven. There's seven in there. Uh, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Where's this eight circle? Two, three, four, oh, five. Yeah. Get the paratroopers to move in there. You can pick which guys go. Oh, well, forget him. Well, yeah, because we're going to go around this way. Yeah. So, one, two, three. There. Okay. That's not so bad. That's good that they're heading that direction. Oh, and the they can't move. They can't move. Okay. Next turn. Here we go. Cloud cover. During this turn, treat all outdoor tiles as if they were small tiles. Whoa! That's amazing. <laughs> Next turn, any commando except for the scout on a large tile without a German uniform will be visible. That's fine. So cloud type covers only for this turn. Next turn, it goes back to normal. Okay. And they are going to move north if possible. So those guys are coming back up. Good. We can blow them up with the rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, we could, yes. Uh, do you want me to start? Which is also an explosion thing, so we don't even have to plant the TNT there. No, we don't. We can just RPG it. From, yeah. like, here, and then just From run there. back to that one. Exactly. Perfect. New plan. Can we start that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to shoot into sh with cloud cover at the that's area. So I need a four plus. I did not get it. You're shooting into this area? Yeah. The question is do I want to. It's okay if I'm visible. I don't need to use my reroll for that. Yeah. I don't need to. So draw a loot. Well, you're visible anyway. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So I'm visible anyway. Uh, technically, slip myself over. And I'll shoot that guy again with my second action. A four plus. Got it. Okay. Are you stealthy my... now? Nope. Okay, and then I'll move three. Now I'm stealthy. And then four. Four. I can move there. I can't. I don't have enough action to shoot there, unfortunately. That's okay. Okay. Uh, my turn, I'm going to go one. You have space for loot? You I do. do. You can pick, some, pick up a grenade before you go? Not well. Yeah, I'll pick up a grenade. I'm going to go two. Uh -huh. I'm going to save an action. Okay. Okay. Bad guys. Bad guys it is. This is full. Okay. And these now bust down. Oh, wait, the alarm's going off because I used my gun. Okay. So technically then... all these are, you have to draw two for each one. Okay, now I'm going to go around the horn again. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's not the right type of arm. No. <laughs> okay, and you want to flip those spawn points too so we forget? Yes, I will. Thank you. And um, these guys come in. Yes, all these guys come in. One, two, three. Each. Like, hey, there were supposed to be guards here. And then they don't know where we are. They're going to move north. So one, two, three, four. Okay. I assume these all can fit. <laughs> yeah, most likely. So there are squares, or not squares, circles on all the tiles that tell you the maximum capacity of it. It's you probably can't tell on the vis stream, but you can definitely tell in person. There's room for three more this over there. Move. And this guy moves too. Okay. That is it. It is our turn. So far, so good. If you think it can't get worse, at the end of the commando phase, a German tank shoots at a tile containing a visible commando, which is none of us. That's at the end of the commando phase, though. You can avoid it by using a plus one action token to move on an adjacent spot. Okay. We can win this turn. Um, so what I'm going to, I'm going to go first. Why? Let's hear me out. Okay. I'm going to throw a grenade into this pile. Okay. Because I'm just going to be invisible. It's this cool grenade. Okay. And hopefully kill them all. Okay. And I can move into there. Okay. And I can leave. 
<laughs> Why don't you let me do myself first? Because no, then... because you need this area cleared out, so you can leave. Also, you just gotta hear me out. I have faith in you. So after I'm I'm exited. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. You rocket launcher here, and then just run away and leave. One, two, three, four. I would have enough to get out technically. See, we just yes. have to execute. If you clear that area, you have to get the weapon from the dog. I get to draw the dog okay. copper for free, so it's not a big deal. I'm I'm gonna clear the area. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna throw a grenade right here. Okay. So I'm rolling four dice. Four dice. Yep. You're not Hopefully. invisible for this. I'm not. It's gonna be hidden. They don't know where it's coming from. And you need and to four or higher, so you hit. So I got. Well, I'm gonna. Three. I think I'm gonna re-roll this one. You can. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Re-roll. That's oh, worse. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, three of them. Three of them. I'll take it. Three and they drop loot because it's not an exploding. You got it. Yep. Grenade. Oh, now invisible. That's no, okay. That's okay. It's all right. So second action, yep. I am going to. Just shoot that guy. Okay. Got him. Third action, move in here. Yep. Fourth action, bye. Yep. Okay. Okay, wow, you did it. Yep, because I had a saved action point. Yep. Okay, so I am... Now you just don't mess up. Free action. Swap, swap the swap weapons. for the Ponza Faust. So I'll drop it with the dog, I'll pick it up, and I'll use it. And this one, as you notice, has got the explosion on it, and you can do it from range. So it's going to take out that whole tile. Where's your explosion thing? Oh, yeah. We didn't do it for the first one Come either. on. Come on. Uh, here it is. Ready? There Boom. We go. <laughs> Boom. Look at this. Look at the just demolished. Oh, can't even carry them all. So now we also get to put one of these red tokens in the bag. Yay. But we do get turns. So we get to choose between a adrenaline. You have two additional actions this turn. What's per level? Wow, that's cool. A moving target. Oh, that's what you had. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of like the adrenaline. Yeah, I think so. Let's do adrenaline. Who want, who gets it? Um, I already have four actions, so you take it. Okay, good. <laughs> thank you. I meant, that, I, meant to say, saying... I meant to say thank you. Not good. I deserve it. <laughs> Sorry. I like this. You should give it to me. Yeah. That's, that's what that was about. Yeah. All right. So that was one action to blow them all up. Yep. I'm going two, three, four. Boom. Boom. Got it. <laughs> well, it took us two tries. <laughs> two tries. Better strategy this go around. And as icing on the cake, the fun thing about these cards on the back side shows you what you did. Yeah. Sinking yeah. ship. Okay. Now. Like to continue. I'm not gonna lie, that rocket launcher is why we won the game. <laughs> the rocket launcher is very powerful in this game. Yeah, there was no way we could have moved into that tile to plant TNT. It would have been. Uh, we could we could have gunned them down. We could have gunned them down. Yeah. Slow. Just yeah. Hide Slowly. in a bush. And you want to do the next one? Um. Oh, it's Friday night. It's Friday night. Yeah, I'm good. Let's, Let's keep going. It. Okay. So Kim, I'll show you the card, and you can help set up while I explain what's going on a little bit. So here's the general course courtyard setup. The enemies are on alert after the sabotage, but most of them are still at the harbor, watching the battleship sink. Time to take action before they come back over there. The alarm is triggered. Place one additional enemy token with MP40, two dice guy, on each tile containing a triangular token. The enemy entrance is in contact with a big tile is barricaded with a crowbar. So yeah, there's a little bit of a, a weird setup in this one that's going to change it. So that is what's happening. Okay. And... Okay, I got it all cleared. All so now cleared. what am I doing? So now let's set up the board. So I'll put this here so everyone can see what we're doing. So, so any tile... Outdoor. Yeah. Indoor. 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 So we don't need... This one is a... The nice thing about all these tiles is one side is outdoor, the other indoor. side is indoor. Yes, and I'm you just, just... You just have to worry about the size. And... Indoor. So this one is technically outdoor right there. Outdoor. Uh, no. That's not... Outdoor, right. sideways. Like that. Perfect. This is outdoor? Yeah, it's outdoor. What is that? It's a, a train. train car? It's a train car. Oh, okay. This is indoor. 
That bugs me. Give me a different one. Just put a different one on there. I am. It bugs me. Gosh. Because the train track doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's this one has of... to be indoor. Oh. Okay. Take that away. Okay. Um. And then we have outdoor. Yeah, outdoor. Big outdoor. Yep. yep. Indoor. Outdoor. Okay. And then you can put stuff on there. So we need to put the TNT and the doors on there. Can I have? I can't see. Okay. So we need. These are a trap door. One's open down here. Another one's open over here. <laughs> awkward. This is awkward if we're both trying to set this up quickly. <laughs> And the alarm token looks like it's right here. We have the car. And we need just one objective we have to blow up. Ooh, there's only one. three trucks. Yes. That's nice. And it's a little bit different because it did say that. And I need this. Yes. And that and goes here in this spot. TNT. Okay. And let's look at the quick setup again. It says the alarm is triggered, so the alarm's on right now. Yeah, um, they, they noticed the explosion from last time. Yes. They well the valve up sinking, so they're like, oh no. Okay. And then it says place one additional enemy token with an MP40 on each tile containing a triangular token. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the setup right now. We need to draw up our enemies. We need to put an enemy here, because this is a triangle. Here and here. Oh wait, I gotta these stay in. Right? Um correct. correct. Okay. So technically I could have kept those then. Uh no. You don't put special units on triangle tokens. Anything but special unit will work. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yep. And Yep, oh, and then we need another uh, two dice on each of those tiles again. You start with double. That's part of the setup. And the enemy entrance in contact with the big tile, this one here, is barricade of the crowbar. So you can flip that over and barricade that with a crowbar. Can, oh, should I use it from the That's fine. stockpile? That's fine. Either way. Okay. Okay. That is the setup. So that crowbar is simulating them watching the sip, sip, uh, sink while we are trying this. Okay. okay. And, and look there's... at the objective here is fire in the hole. Destroy the cannon by blowing up with the explosion. So very simple. 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 <laughs> Blow up that center tile. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I want to get on the MP that machine gun nest. That would be really fun. Yeah. Especially with my character. Okay. Although you can't hit much. I'm just That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. So where are we coming in from? Probably here. Doesn't matter. Well, first let's do the event. Oh yeah. Okay. So and first we get this We what? don't shuffle any of those cards in uh, There's enough events. We don't have okay. to. Because its alarm is going off, it is uh, bottom one. Find them during this turn. Every stealth check is performed using two dice. So yeah, we don't want to do the stealth checks now. And they are going to be moving west. Okay. Which is fitting uh, to find them because you know we just blew up the battleship. Yeah, that is very it's, thematically. It's fitting. Engaging. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a question. Which direction do you want to go? This um, is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You do have a TNT. So we don't <gasps> I need do. to. I yeah. do. I just got to get there. Right. Oh, it I might can... be easy to go this yeah, way. Yeah, totally. 100%. We're doing that. Because I can go into that space for one. And you can crowbar that too. The spawn point. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So one. Okay. Two. Okay. Wrong token. You put the German uniform on. Oh. Help you out there. There you go. And three. Use my crowbar. Okay. Cool. Okay. What are you doing? I am going to follow suit with my dog. One. I feel like Death Cheater with a dog. I feel like that's like John Wick. <gasps> yes. Yes. We yes. still have to watch the third one, by the <sighs> way. That's good. I've seen it. We'll have to find a way to watch it. One. Oh, two, hey, three. Dan. You made it. Yes, we made, uh, we 
We won the first level on our kind second of. attempt. Second attempt. <laughs> yes. But we made it. So I'm glad you could join us. Thanks for coming. Um, so those two actions, Steve. Yes. Uh, three actions actually. So there's one to enter, two three to go there. I've got one action left. I might as well go up here. Let's pass you by. Hey. Oh yeah, because you four. you get four, you can't save any. I can't save anything. Special special John Wick. That's what I'm calling you. A special John Wick. Death cheater. It's so fitting. <laughs> John Wick it up. <laughs> okay. That is it. It is enemy turn. Okay, so they are going to spawn or attempt to spawn in some cases. Dude, oh. Ooh, what's that thing? I don't want to know. It is question mark with a weapon, so that is going to affect me, unfortunately. So that one says, I roll a die. If I have a one or two, I discard my weapon I found. Or is it a die? There you go. But I can do a reroll, so this might be okay. I roll a four. I don't, I don't jam my weapon. Oh, good. I get to keep it. So okay. nothing bad happens otherwise. All right, and then that thing's removed from the game. Right? Well, from this level. Okay. Which it, is the end of the game anyway. It, okay. Yes. So that's it, because this was a dead oh, draw. Technically, this needs to go back in the bag. I forgot to do that last time. I could have drawn it. I could have. Could have, would have, should have. Just making it harder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this was a dead draw, so I added a guy in. Okay. And then they are going to try to move west, if possible. And this guy would actually move in that building. He would. Hey, Let's check hey, it out. What's up? And that is it. Did you see us? Don't shoot us. Here we go. Next round. Alarm, alarm. During the enemy reinforcement step, enemy units enter as if the alarm was triggered. Well, guess what? Alarm is already triggered. It's fine. So they're moving south. Okay. Okay. Can you shoot that guy? I absolutely can. It's a two plus to hit. Can you shoot that guy? <laughs> no, with my luck. Okay, here we go. Oh. Can you shoot him? Roll my dice. Oh, Dan's asking um, what happened with the crowbar on the spawn point. Oh, up yes. here. Good question. Because you just joined it. Let me fill you in. The setup for this is special because we're playing the operation. It says here, um, basically the enemies are on alert. So the alarm has already started as soon as we started the level. But the big thing is because the battleship was sinking from the previous level we just played, they are distracted by that. This ship's sinking. They're not there yet. So... So what it ha what it told us to do is mechanically to put a crowbar up here at the, during setup. That's representing those enemies that are busy watching the ship sinking before they enter the board. Yes, and I crowbarred that one. You did. Okay. Okay, so I will shoot into that tile. Oh, yeah, I already did. I hit him. I rolled, I oh, rolled you plenty. hit him? Yeah, I rolled plenty. You you distracted Did me. you really hit? Yes. You're just <laughs> Look, I got four. We're good. Okay. I needed any more one. The nice thing is, because my special ability, I'm not visible. So that's great. One. I've got three actions left. I wish I could do something about that. I should have gone first. Because I could have given you the TNT if I would have taken that guy out. That's true. Um, you, could have, you could technically have moved up there. Could you send... No, because it's actions to send the dog. The dog could go to your spot, yeah. But it would take an, it would take yeah. an action. Actually, yeah. he could go fetch. It'd be... Is it one for One, you? two... It would take me two actions to move there and move back. And then you have one action in, one and action then you left. drop it. And then you're stuck there. I can't get there and drop it this turn. No. Because the dog... It takes one action to move the dog back to your spot. One action to move him back to my spot. It's two actions, and then I have one action left. So I can either move there, or I could drop the equipment. Man, you really should have gone first. You should have gone first. Or, yeah, I should have gone first. Because yeah. now your turn is over. I wouldn't... You want to wreck on that real quick and just re-roll the dice? Oh, we did it. You okay. killed the guy. You really? actually rolled a kill shot. I did roll a kill shot. So... I might just move in there, because... Why would you move in there? Why wouldn't you move back and start exiting? Come here. Do you need me to go that way? No, because if I go one, two, drop it, three, and then I'll just play catch it, up. No, it's it's one, two, drop it. You're st stuck there. It's one action to drop a TNT there. The benefit is... 
Oh, I can't get there because it's too... I wouldn't be stealthy. I kind of want to stay stealthy. Well, the truck is there. I have a smoke. That's what I'm thinking. Because okay. if I'm there... Go there and drop the smoke. Right. There's a small yeah. top for you. Yeah. And yeah. you can walk in there. Yeah, that's it. better. Okay. Do that. So, yeah. Good thing you went first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, leave the dog behind. We're, we're safer. Poor doggy. Yes? No, I'd keep him with you in case Fine. he has to bite somebody's ankles. Okay. <laughs> One. He'll follow me in there. Is uh, that two to get in there? No, it's one action in there. Invisible. And then I'm going to immediately throw my smoke. So it was one, two, three. Now I'm stealthy. And might as well pick up and drop this for four. Didn't you shoot a guy? I did. Shoot a guy, move in, drop it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Might as, well, might as well do the... Uh, the uh, Parachute. Parachute. So... Okay. Draw three, three things. And hopefully you don't draw any um I have eyeballs. way too many in my hand. Just three. There. Okay, cool. They all drop in that spot. Which one do you want? They all drop in that spot. I know, just take one right now. Oh, um I get the TNT, jeez. Take the med pack. Or no, I want the med pack. Take the TNT. Okay, I'll take the TNT. And actually the dog will take the other spare uniform. Okay. Okay. So then what I'm gonna do is one Small tile. Yep. Two. two. Three. Prime it. Nice. And I'm stealth mode. And I'm going to pick up the med pack. Okay. So now we just have to run away. Yes. We have to run away and leave and we win the game. Well, we do have to blow the thing up. Yes. Well, that's your actions to do it. So. But thematically, we're going to blow it up and you're going to use your little screenshot thing. Again. We are going to use the <laughs> screenshot thing. Okay. There we go. Uh, bad guys first. Okay. If you draw going no off. spawn, that won't they won't break down the door. But most likely they are. Yeah, they're coming in. Okay. Okay, then over here. And then down here. So all these guys are entering. Why nope. are they entering? They're not. Yeah, these are. No, because it's a sledgehammer. Oh. He breaks it down. All right. So this one broke this down. Yep. Here they come. You weren't quite fast enough. It's okay. Okay, now I have to use stealth checks. Oh, I get a red die instead of blue. So I'm rolling four. Yep, we're both rolling four dice, and you roll three blue three. and a red. Yep, I roll four. And the dog, you rolls four. Oh, poor bud. You might not make it. I might have to go John Wick on them. <laughs> if your dog dies, you would. <laughs> Catch me. No. Now this is. Yeah, no. Just roll. There we go. I am visible on one of them. And I will re-roll that dice. I am visible on two of them. I got re-roll. So it doesn't matter if I re-roll or not. Okay. I am stealthy. They did not see me. Oh. What? I should have used adrenaline on the next last turn. I could have gotten away. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that? Might as well. No, because I forgot. It's not going <laughs> to change anything other than this roll. Well, I wouldn't be visible. I wouldn't be in the spot. Yeah. So you just move away. Use your adrenaline, might as well. Okay. Even though I would be visible? Yeah. Just leave me there with a the dog to go John Wick on him. There you That's, go. Should I stay, though, to help you? Because you're visible. You're going to get gunned down by a lot of stuff. You're vis Why am I going to get done? Because yeah. there's a machine gun nest here, and all these guys are going to shoot at you. Oh, well, if I move here, they're going to stealth check. And well, it doesn't matter either way, because technically you can use the adrenaline right now. Oh, you, well, actually you can't. Yeah, you would, you would use adrenaline right now. Yeah, I would. Too. You would. Move there and get a plus one. Oh, yeah. That's oh, your special So ability. I can use this any time to avoid... You can use it any time, but technically I don't think you can do it. The way I did it? Yeah, you have to do it during your turn, technically. Okay, so we're going to pretend that was okay. during my turn. Where's Here goes the doggy. Doggy is visible. No! Gander! Oh, I'm stealth. I, I survived my stealth check. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah. So Gander's visible. Um, he's going to get gunned down by... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two... No, this is actually four dice. Four... Ten. Ten dice. Okay. And there's a four plus to hit him. So here's four of them. Um, yep, got him. He just one hit kills him. No! So Gander is no longer part of the mission. 
That's all right. He was I'm just, going John Wick on them. He was just kind of... Um, <laughs> we're, we're doing it. He was just hanging around. We didn't utilize him at all, honestly. No. I mean, he's he's just a... He's not I mean, great. We, but we used fun. him on the last mission for, right. like, the backpack. Right. He's good for, like, if you summon a spot and you have him barking okay. and distract people, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so that is it. Now they would... Move west. Oh, wait. They would technically move towards Gander. Oh, shoot. Yes. So these guys would stealth check me. Correct. Correct. So three dice. Three dice. But, Spectre. One, one red die. Mm -hmm. right. Aha! You're fine. Good. And then, let's see. This guy would... Oh, he would have gone at... Yeah, he would have walked in there. So I have to do another stealth check. So they're all go they all would have moved before the gander attack, technically. Is that what we're doing? Yes, yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, you're fine. That's close. Okay. Okay. And then the dog unfortunately died, and then it is our turn. Our turns. Okay. Next event. Here we go. We have uh papers, please. Gestapo is performing identity check. One commander wearing a German uniform must perform a stealth check. Maybe we avoid by using a plus one action token. So, no one's in German uniform it doesn't do anything. You don't have to worry about it. And then you're going to move south if you don't see us. Okay. I'm going to knife all three of those guys. I can do that, right? You can. It'll be three of your actions. But you and then I think I might just stay there and wait for you because then these guys are going to come south and then I can try to run and clear them out with you and exit at the same time. Okay. Or, if you do that, I can get out pretty quickly. You would leave me behind. I would. Tables have turned. Or I can end my turn here. Yeah, I'm going to end my turn there. Okay, so knife them knife one all, at a time. Knife all three. Well, of actually, them. do one at a time because if you do draw an eyeball, they will see you. Oh. Knife this guy. Okay. okay. You good? TNT. I might pick that up. Okay. Knife this guy. Okay. Ooh, crowbar. Okay, now you're and good. Knife this guy. Doesn't matter what you draw. Okay, uh, good. Well, good. Doesn't matter. Yep. So I technically have one saved action. I'm gonna pick all this up. Actually, no. If you pick this up and jam this. Yeah, on I can your crowbar way, the door for you. Yep. I'm gonna move this. Use up my action. You know, stealthy because you're. Yep. Scout. Stealth move. Okay, so I am. I'm not gonna kill those guys yet. One, pick that up. Two, three, four. Barricade the door. Okay. Oh, technically, I would have to drop something because I don't have enough space in my inventory. So, technically, this would be dropped here. I want to pick that up. TNT. No big deal. Okay. Okay. So now it is... It's an action to use the TNT trigger, right? To blow it up? Nope. Zero. We get revenge. Do it. Not yet. What? I thought right now. Because we're going to spawn, guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh. See what I'm doing? That's eviler. It is eviler. <laughs> we're, we're totally John Wick in this. Two. One, two. Uh-huh. One, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? What's this? Uh, good question. Let's look at what it is. Um, let's see. Um, it is... I think if you're visible, they move twice as fast. But no one's visible, so I don't think it matters. During this enemy movement step, if at least one enemy, one command is visible, they move twice. Nope, we are invisible. Not applicable. So it doesn't do anything. Sweet. Okay, but I gotta draw a replacement guy. Yes, yes. Nope. Okay. All right. Now they would move. But you're going to blow it up before they move. Yes. John Wick style. Revenge. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Add another bad token to the bag, and we do level up. So while Kim clears that out, let's see what we get. We have two cards to level up with. We have Chain Shot. Hey, that's the one you liked. I do like that one. Um, and back to square one. Put all enemies currently outside your level because they could not enter back to the reserve. That is pretty cool. Like, hey, they just give up. They just don't come in. But I'll give you this chainsaw because you liked it. 
Oh, you're so nice. Why do you have all the experience? Well, you just gave that one to me. I That's didn't true. even ask That's for it that time. That's true. <laughs> but it only matters because I'm pretty sure we'll win this time. You're pacifying me because you're playing a man down. Close combat. During this turn, the first commando to eliminate an enemy unit in close combat gains a plus one. Cool. Not gonna... Doesn't matter because... Weren't the rest of the guys supposed to move? Yes, they were. Which way? I skipped. South. Yep. Okay. Um, and our turns. One, two. Three. Oh, wait. One, two, two. Yeah. One, two. Boom! We got it. That's a victory. Operation victory for Operation... Five. It was. Great, great sword. All right. So, let's see what it looks like. There we go. We took out the battery. Okay, so now... That's it? That's it. Wow, we did it! We completed the operation with a horrible start. We just don't... Into win. Remember that that happened. <laughs> you need the men in black. Edit that <laughs> out. Take that Never away. happened. But the nice thing is, you did see... A few things. Now, Gander didn't do a whole lot, but I'm curious what you thought of playing with the upgrades like that with a man down. I felt like it worked. Fine. I don't know. I think I have to try again. Because like okay. that first mission, I think if we had a third player, it could have saved us a lot. Uh, I think I had a bad strategy, too. I was trying to do something fancy, and it wasn't going to work. Okay, so that loss is on you? Is what yeah, loss is on me with totally the border. Yes, yes. Okay. Um... But I'm loving the experience cards in this game. I think I really awesome. yes, these little bonus XP cards are are great. Yeah, for sure. I that if you haven't backed the Ghost expansion, the Kickstarter did end, but I'm they always have late pledges, so I would recommend getting that if you're interested in this game at all. I find that immensely fun, and the little luck tokens and everything comes out. It's it's really it adds a lot to the game. My my opinion. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. That's going to end our play of V Commandos. Um, next week, we do have a new game we're going to show. It's currently on Kickstarter. Monstrolo Monstrology? It's going to be a fun little like party type game. So it'll be fun oh, to have you guys join us. And then next week, I think you also want to do Spirit, Spirit Island. Spirit Island next week. Um, what? Tell me more about this Monstrology game. Do you know anything about it? I do. You have to read the rule book. But <laughs> it is... It's kind of like a Dixit type game, okay. in the sense that like um, there are a bunch of different cards, and you want the other people to guess the card you picked, but you have to give clues in a weird fashion. So how it works is all the cards have monsters on them, and you will pick a monster card and then choose what type of attributes it has. It might be something like this is a great babysitter. This one does home goods, uh, cooking so it's or something. Like pictures of monsters. Yes. And, and you, you're describing them through an various weird attributes, and then what you do is reveal a whole slew of them, and then hopefully so based upon those attributes, we can figure out which one you pick. It's a monster lineup. It is. Okay. It is very, very simple, very fun. Uh, but we're gonna play that next week, and then just do Spirit Island. So. Okay. We'll see what okay. else. That'd be okay. it. But cool. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions on this game or anything else coming out, hit us up. Um, the next stream is gonna be Marvel Champions. That's me, Terrence, and uh, Peter playing that and the, the campaign. That's going to be tomorrow night. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Bye.